Today we're going to show you guys how to reduce some of the things in the background that might not be interesting using a shallow depth of field. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. Find me on Twitter at AKNacer. Today we're with our beautiful model, Lauren. You're doing a great job. Thank you. And uh, we're actually in a greenhouse right now. Now we're at the Chicago Botanical Gardens and we don't want to really make it look like we're in a greenhouse. We want to make it look like we're maybe actually in a jungle. And a great way to do that is using a shallow depth of field. So the camera you're watching right now is basically shooting at a little bit of a larger depth of field, a little bit wider. So you can actually see like details there in the background and you'll be able to see you know things like up right above us there's we're in a giant greenhouse so there are a couple of ways you could do this um, the things you want to keep in mind when you're trying to get rid of those things is basically shooting with the shallow depth of field now this is anything like 28 20 18 14 a great lens this is a 70 millimeter 2.8 lens and uh, this is a perfect lens for this sort of thing if you guys don't have one of these like a 50 millimeter 1.8 which you can pick up for a couple hundred dollars or a 50 millimeter 1.4, those will also be really great. And you wanna make sure you keep your aperture really low. That's gonna make sure your background is really shallow, or really out of focus, and your foreground is not. So the other thing you wanna keep in mind when you are trying to shoot with your background to be very out of focus is actually the distance from the camera to your subject and also the subject to the background. The key is to get your camera as close to your subject as possible and make sure your background is as far from your subject as possible. And that's gonna make sure the background is gonna be very out of focus. So in this case, I'm standing about where the camera is right, about where the video camera is that's, you know, I'm talking to you right now. And our subject is right about right over here. So probably less than 10 feet away with this lens, shooting at 2.8 millimeters at, um, zoomed into about 135. So, or sorry, 2.8 aperture zoomed into 135 millimeters. So we do have a pretty shallow depth field. Now, all the detail that I want to obscure is way in the background. All the stuff with the greenhouse and everything like that, all that in the background is just like going completely out of focus. So because it's so out of focus, you don't really see what's going on. And the final pictures, do, they don't really look like they were taken in a greenhouse. You don't see any of those elements. They look like they were taken probably outdoors. And that's the whole idea behind shooting in, you know, a space like this. We have to shoot in here. We got rained out a little bit earlier, but we're using some cool tricks you can do with a camera, really not too hard to make sure it looks like you're shooting outdoors and to still get that shot to come through. The other thing we're using is lighting to make it look like it's more outdoors. We definitely are lighting this shot. So we've got a little bit of the sunlight coming in. You can probably see it on my face right now, but we've also got a light coming in from the background. What that's doing is it's creating a really nice rim on our subject, but it's also kind of making it look like instead of like being able to see detail back there, you just see a bit of light coming from the background. And that's just gonna help kind of obscure that a little bit more. So we're using the shallow depth of field as well as some light in the background to make sure the background stays very out of focus and doesn't look like we're in a greenhouse. Really pretty simple lighting. We're just gonna take a few couple pictures here. We're gonna move it up and uh, you guys will see what we got. It's so humid in here. We're recording? All right, cool. Today we're going to show you how to reduce some of your in, uh, la, 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 to reduce um, all right difference between the focal lengths and what is actually in focus really quite a bit larger. That wasn't very clear, was it? All right, I'll I'll do it better. Yeah. Cool. All right. Cool. For more information on this episode, go to flurn.com. While you're there, be sure to check out our pro tutorials. These are the most in-depth Photoshop tutorials available on the internet. If you want one for free, just sign up for our newsletter following the link right down below and it'll be delivered to you instantly. We also feature exclusive interviews, written contents, inspiration from people like you as well as professional photographers. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.